New fears have emerged that Prince Harry's forthcoming memoir Spare has been sexed up with details of his former romances that even he may not be comfortable revealing. This comes amid reports that the Duke of Sussex's versions of the memoir was pushed back before the publishing house would accept the final copy. Watch the video above, Prince Harry shares details about his children amid memoir reports. For more royal family related news and videos check out Royal Family Greater Than Greater Than Spare, to be published by Penguin Random House, is being billed as an account told with raw, unflinching honesty, and filled with insight, revelation, self-examination, and hard-won wisdom about the eternal power of love over grief. Harry signed a 58 million Australian dollars contract for the memoir with Penguin Random House, which initially demanded a rewrite because it was too touchy-feely, according to the Daily Mail. Now the Sun has reported that Harry has had to revisit several sections. The book has been back and forth between Harry and ghostwriter Junior Moringer and the publishers a few times, a source told the British publication. They wanted more than was in the first draft, and then Harry wanted to refine things after the Queen passed away. But there has been extra toing and froing that people don't know about, the source continued. This is because the publishers wanted more areas covered and more detail on some things that were already included. There is a real concern that that means Harry has had to sex up the book and include revelations that even he might not even be that comfortable with. Former romances reportedly for the re-write, Harry turned to former girlfriends and friends from his earlier life for extra details. The Prince's two notable former girlfriends include Chelsea Davy, 37, and actress Cressida Bonas, 33 however it is unknown if they contributed to the memoir. Both Davy and Bonas have since married and Davy has a child with her husband Sam Cutmore Scott. Davy and Harry were a non again off again couple between 2004 and 2010 and the prince dated Bonas between 2012 and 2014. According to the outlet, some of Harry's former close circle were stunned to be asked to share their accounts of such intricate details of the prince's early adulthood and upbringing. Harry did reach out. Friends and girlfriends were polite and said they would think about it but ultimately most said no, a source told The Sun. It was felt to be kind of ironic that Harry would hit the roof if he ever had an inkling they spoke to the media, but now he wants them to when he needs their help. The memoir is set for release on January 10, a release date that is a strange one, according to Daily Mail royal editor Richard Eden. January, too late for the lucrative Christmas market, he tweeted. Graveyard Time, academic writers view it as publishing Graveyard Time, a reply said, along with another calling January the dead zone. Harry reportedly had been attempting to tone down the autobiography, fearing the draft would not be received well by the public and the royal family following Queen Elizabeth's death on September 8. The memoir was initially written after Harry and his wife Meghan, Duchess of Sussex stepped back as senior working royals in January 2020 and moved to the US. For more engaging royal content, visit 7Life on Facebook.